Hey y'all, Rhonda here. How's everybody doing? Well, I've been a working girl tonight, so if you don't like, then my hands are clean, but I uh, did a lot of spray painting. Um, nails are looking bad, had to take off the polish, so if that bothers you, then hit the next button. Oh my goodness, another whirlwind weekend day, everything. Oh my goodness. So I went to Oklahoma on when did I go? Sunday morning. So I went to Tulsa to see my daughter for a little bit and ended up staying all day and which was so much fun and just, oh my gosh, loved every second of it. And, um, she's got the baking bug. She wants her mama to show her how to bake, which I did, but you know, teenagers growing up, it's like, mm, no. And so now she's like, okay, mom, <sighs> So uh, we made some pineapple upside down cakes in cupcake, oh, cupcake muffin tins. So there were little individual portions. And so she took those to work and she said everybody loved them. So that was fun. And then I headed on to uh, my hometown from there. So I got there about 11 o'clock Sunday night and then up early Monday and had lots of stuff to do. And um, just crazy. Did a lot of cooking for mom and uh, just all kinds of stuff she had on her list. And then Tuesday, today, I was up at 4.30 and got ready and was on the road and headed back to Branson. And I had two doctor's appointments. I was supposed to go into work, sort of, kind of, but I didn't because my appointments, you know, anyway, just I was going to be there like 30 minutes after leave again. And went to Lowe's and picked up some stuff for band props uh, with the band director and went and worked. And AJ was a good girl, like most always. And um, so she stayed after school for a drama, I'm a little tired, um, a drama meeting thing. And then her best friend was playing volleyball. And so I went and worked on the trailer and we painted and we took rust off and hence the black paint and the sore finger from <laughs> spray painting. Oh, I have a shadow. I got rid of my puppet shadow light. And um, anyway, so we ran and got something to eat at Chili's. Just picked it up because we were both so tired. Came home and ate. She took a shower and went to bed. And um, did I say she got her homework done while she was at school waiting after her meeting? Oh, after her meeting. And then while she was watching her best friend play volleyball. <laughs> She's such a good kid. So she crashed and everybody's asleep in the house. And I'm trying to unwind. And I came home to boxes and what better thing to come home to is a wonderful family, boxes, and boo-boo kitty, and the puppies, and the bird, and oh my goodness. Yes. So anyway, enough of my wool bling. Time to open some stuff. And let's see. I'm excited about this. This is from Simon Says. Sorry, I'm a little tired, so um, just bear with me. Uh, not impressed with their packaging at all. I mean, this is nice all together, so it doesn't move around. But this was in one of those envelopes flat rate envelopes not even padded and it was just crammed in there and just I wasn't impressed with that at all but it looks to be in fine shape so are y'all doing that stamp timber thing I think I got something from it last year but um, I'm not into all that so oh, let me um, hang on Oop. fix you there a little bit um I don't know. I just think they're overpriced and they're underwhelming and I don't know. So didn't do it or haven't done it yet. Um, it ain't over. So I don't know. So let's pull this out. This was one of those that I tell you about cataloging. You know, when you get well used to, you get catalogs in the mail and especially um, at Christmas time, you'd get the Sears toy catalog. <laughs> And, or no, toy, toy, Sears, Toys R Us. Anyway, one of the big catalogs. And um, anyway, you go through it and like, oh, you grab your pen. And, oh, I want that. And you dog ear the top and I want this and all that. And then it's like, then the next day you go through it and it's like, hmm, I'm not quite sure I wanted that. And what was I thinking on that? And then you do it again the next few days. And then by the end of week one or two, it's like, what was I thinking? And out of all that, you maybe want one thing <laughs> out of the 50 that you just had to have. So we call that cataloging. 
so that's what I did. I put a bunch of stuff in my cart. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's so cool. I got to have that. I got to have it. And then I go back and went, am I really going to use that? Is that no, that's not cool. Um, delete, delete. <laughs> but, um, and then there was a couple of things that I was really like, oh my gosh, I want it. But, and then I was like, okay, just go for it. Just get it. So I did. So I think I have some pretty fun stuff. So let's see what we have. I should put this in some sort of order because there are some things that go together. Um, hmm. Let me see here. Let me see. Just calm down. Okay, we'll do this. Because I know these go together. So let's do this. Okay. So this is Brut Brutus Monroe, which, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, that glare thing. Let's move that over. Um, I just love his stuff. And um, at the store are our supplier does not carry them and I'm like you need to put a bug in their ear and carry them carry them so I can get them and then all will be right with the world <laughs> anyway so I just I just thought this was super cute so this is um, seize the day and it says from the depths depths of my heart and zoinks and seize the day <laughs> you're so sublime uh, ride the waves and then look it's the um like little yellow submarine and the little pipes oh look at the little eyeball like he's peeking out oh my gosh and what is that some kind of oh no that's a fish i was gonna say <laughs> it looked like um oh what's the guy jamaican uh with the dreadlocks and he always had the cap on the hat anyway you can tell I'm really tired. Anyway, that's what I thought that was. But anyway, it's a fish. And then we have little, you know, fish, flowers, the porthole. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, there's a little blinky eye right there. And then it has the dyes. That is so cute. Okay. So that's cute within itself. And then you pair it with this. Shut the front door. Stop the press. This is what, like, totally sold me on this. The samples that they did were so cute. So look at this paper. Oh, and it's double-sided. Is that not wild? So it looks like, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at these. That is, so I mean, this could be the heavens, it could be the seas, it could be whatever, but look at that. Is that not psychedelic? So this could be like, ocean waves or whatever <laughs> then you have your submarine I can't wait to get my hands on this this is so stinking cute look at that oh my word that just oh what was this one? <gasps> look at this isn't that not fun oh, oh sorry paper on there tape look at that and really you could do either way So anyway, I had to get that because it would just, yes, please. That's going to be so much fun. This makes me think of um, my crafty friend, uh, Tootsie. She is one of the most creative crafters ever. The things that she comes up with and the things that she pairs is like, oh my goodness. I, I'll put her link below. You need to check her out. Um, very, uh, very creative. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this stuff. Let me, let me go from one side to the other. <laughs> All right, this is Spaceships Die. This is Whimsy Stamp Collection. So I know this is kind of hard to see, but um, there's a little spaceship. There's a spaceship. There's aliens. <laughs> Mom and dad and baby alien. Uh, there's a little fire, you know, that comes out of the jets. And then there's the moon and like Saturn with the rings. You'll know why. One of the reasons why I got that in a minute. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is just, let's all take a moment. Let's take a moment. The artwork on this is just breathtaking. This is, don't laugh at me. I know somebody will tell me the right way to say it. Katkin Crafts, K-A-T-K-I-N. Katkin. Anyway, so this is Gabriel the Angel. Oh, that's just, yeah, Gabriel and then Oh my gosh, the things you could do with that. And there's more. 
<laughs> Look at this. This is Mother Mary holding a little baby. And we have little zhuzhs. Mother Mary. Now this is hard for me to read. It's Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. Okay, there we go. Gorgeous. I mean, that artwork, uh, that style is just... And then the kings, the wise men. So the way they did these, and look, there's like different crowns. The one, two, three, four, five, six different crowns you could put on there. Color them different. I mean, you could have 12 wise men if you wanted to. Stamp Timber, a Simon Says celebration. Join us during this Stamp Timber 2023. Four great deals and all that stuff. And then there's brands joining us in our Super Stamp Timber 2023 celebration. Yeah, well, so far I'm just kind of, mm. all right. What do we have? Oh my gosh. The samples they did with this is just phenomenal. I'm not normally a cutesy person, but the samples sold me. So it's kind of a Harry Potter kind of thing. So anyway, I've got to look on the designer's blog. Um, can't think of his name. But anyway, look on his um, blog and see if he shows either if he did it or whoever created it, um, the different items that they use to do what I'm talking about. Anyway, this one's called Hocus Pocus. This is so cute. Love the books. I mean, just, you could do a lot with this. Then we have, what is this? Oh, this is Whimsy Stamps. And this is Build a, Build a Castle die set. So you can see your castle. There's for your windows, your little pointy things drawbridge, your uh, flags. We have a fire-breathing dragon, dragons. And then I don't know. Oh, I guess that's for Slimline. But anyway, I mean, you never can have too many castles. All right, let's save that for last. Then they made a sample with one of these with this die. This is an embossing folder. Texture amazing. Should be cut and emboss. Um, embossing folder, cut domed window yeah it's a cut it's a cut and emboss anyway they made phenomenal samples with this so um and then this is another artwork um this is the um all and create and does it say who did it designed by arthur de and company for all and create all and create howler's house I, this, I mean, this is phenomenal. And then it has the little cauldron, um, the rickety the street lamp thing, the bridge, trick or trick. I mean, this is phenomenal. And that's a nice size to color. So that's going to be, this makes me think of my little friend Tootsie too. She's, oh, she's so creative. Okay, more whimsy stamp. So this goes with the paper, or can be used with the paper that I got. Two can do it. Uh, you were... You are one hot friend. Don't worry. Um, mahalo. Be happy. Uh, oh my gosh. These are just too cute. So keep that in mind. And then we have, what's this one called? Night Dragons. This is also whimsy. So look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My knight. You slay me, my hero. Oh, that's so cute. Goofy dragons. Who doesn't love a goofy dragon? And look at this. Whimsy Company high quality rubber stamp made in the USA. Go Whimsy. Um, moon background. But look at that. I mean, you could do it like that. It could be the bottom of the planet. Or it could be the top or the side, whatever. But anyway, is that not phenomenal? That's really cool. And then I was really surprised to see this. This is like the real Winnie the Pooh. So this is um, Impression Obsession. Clear stamps. Um, does it say, anyway, it's Winnie the Pooh. Um, and so I have all this really cool stuff for a Winnie the Pooh journal. And when I saw this, it was just, just a have to thing. Um, so anyway, I got that one. And then I had to, am I hearing beeps? Okay. Whimsy stamps. This is born to fish. Had to get this one because I work with cops for kids, a uh, bass tournament and you can't hardly find bass stamps or dyes or anything bass. 
uh, maybe some paper occasionally, but um, anyway, so I had to get that one. And then this is Beach Babies. So uh, we have your flamingo and your crab, relax and enjoy. Hey you, take a moment, happy Friends Day. So this one and this one, the toucan, is going to be used with this. This is also whimsy. Oh, it's not in, not connected. So this is just beachy. Oh, good, they're not double-sided. So look at these. For a slim white, it's already, and you just add to it. But aren't these fun? Nighttime at the beach. Look at that. Anyway, I just love, love, love his stuff. Oh, my goodness. So anyway, we're going to work on that. And that reminds me of Tootsie, too. <laughs> because, like I said, she just does out of the box. Really cute. Really different. Uh, very creative. Put that in there quickly. Because we have stuff to move on to. And then there was another one of these. Sorry for all that noise. And this is made in the USA, Enchanted Kingdom. So just like those, these are already all printed. Oh my gosh. So my night dragon and so much fun. Okay. Then we do it on time. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um let's grab this one. This is uh spellbinders. So this is, why can't they send the rest of the club kit with this? So you have your club kit, and I get it. It's the all-in-one, the big kahuna, the I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So you get everything. And then they started a new club with the um, stitched and the, um, what do you call it, the seal, the stamping that makes a little seal. Anyway, so they send this one. I don't know when I'll get the big, the whole thing. But this is, is there anything in there? Nope. Oh, the um, Better Press of the Month. Thankful for everything you do. Oh, that's pretty. Corner Sunflowers. And then for the sentiment, it's, you can better press it and then cut it out. But look at the detail in that. And then when you um, use this in your hot foil, oh my gosh, it picks up that detail. It's phenomenal. I mean phenomenal. So I can't wait to do that. Oh, these are pretty. The wax beads. Oh, copper. There it is. Get copper. And then this one is, oh, that's pretty. Fall Meadow. So that's the um, wax seal of the month. I likey, likey. All right. Um, what do we have here? This is Crafter's Companion. And it was funny, just as I was leaving tonight to go to Home Depot to pick stuff up, I had a box delivered. Sorry. And so I just grabbed it and put it in my truck. And so while I was sitting there waiting on the band director to show up, I opened some mail. And um, thank goodness I did because we ended up needing, I needed that box for some stuff. So anyway, all my stuff that was packed so nice and in the box, now it's in a bag that was, anyway. Oh, look, I got a pen. But you know I gotta try it. I have to have to try it. Come on. Because you know I'm a self-proclaimed pen snob. Really? I can't. There we go. Okay. Something to write on. Ingredients. What is this? Okay. We can use this. We can use the back side. Um, is it a twisty? It's sparkly, and, oh, there we go. Are we ready? See if it, how well it writes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not great, but good. I'll take it. But look at the sparklies. Love it. Okay, we'll put it over here by the pen. So this is the Nat Crafter's Companion Design Collection, Oh Holy Night. So let me get rid of that. And um, we don't carry the whole line in the store. She just gets bits and pieces of it. But I wanted the whole shooting match. And that's what I did. Okay. Away in a manger. This is 
uh, stamp and oh, stamp and die set. So there's your stamp, and then your outline is the is the die. And then Star of Wonder. So two different: the outline and then the detailed. This is Gorgizio. Let us adore him. This is one of those edgers. So it's going to cut your base out for you, and then this, so you can back it. It just make it really easy. Um, oh, holy night! And I love how they have mom and dad and baby in there. And then this one's beautiful. This is going to be beautiful paper pieced. Uh, comfort and joy. So it's going to cut. It's going to leave you with that outline. So you cut it out of several different um, papers and then inlay it. That's my cup of tea there. Silent Night. One big metal die. Uh, All is Bright. That's pretty. I mean, that's very pretty. And then Nativity. And this is a die set. And then uh, Good Tidings. Stars are brightly shining. Rejoice. Rejoice. Christ is born. Holy Night. Um... Well, that says anyway stamp set love that and then uh, 2d embossing folder very cool what's the measurements on that uh, it's a five by seven so that's nice you could use it uh, slim line you could use it on five by seven you could um, a two size so very versatile let me find a place to put these oh my goodness all right let me grab a handful of stuff out of this sack. Well, this came. This was a freebie. So, Crafter's Companion Foam on a Roll. White, 10 millimeter in length, 5 millimeter wet, wide, and 3 millimeter deep. Double-sided, high-density foam. So, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. And Crafter's Companion, Crafter's Companion Craft Foam Pads, 320. So it's the little squares. Always can use these. Just grab this. So I think this may have this may go with something. Um, this is Spectrum Noir. This is Harmony. Uh, green topaz, opaque pigment for blending and embossing, and Chinese red. I don't remember anything with those, so I don't know if they're a gift or I'll have to check my invoice. Um, I don't remember getting this. Craft cardstock. A4 size. 50 sheets. So it must be... Um, it doesn't have measurements on it. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost like a little illegal size, but I don't remember getting that. Um, oh, grab this just a minute. Just gonna get this big stuff out of the way. So this is Crafter's Companion Luxury Cardstock. This is the red pack. So you have the glittery, you have the shiny, and then you have the matte. And then there's the green. I don't remember ordering that either. I wonder if that's the surprise. But I'll take it. All right, let's look at this real quick. All right, this is, um, if some of you guys remember, a while back I did a haul, and I bought the um, this screen, and it's really large. And so these are um, little add-ons that you can use with it. Uh, Butterfly Delight, so, excuse me, stamps and dies. So this can be, you know, used really with anything, but they had it with that big Oriental-type screen. And then there was another one here. This one, Happily Ever After, so beautiful um, stamp and then dies. So that can be used on a screen or just on a beautiful card. And then they were having a pretty good sale, so that's why one of the reasons I picked up some of this stuff, because it was a really good sale. Uh, Christ is Born, this is a um, 6.9 by 4.9, and it's a big die, so it's going to cut out everything, and what you're going to be left with is the dark purple. So you could paper piece that if you wanted to. That's really going to be pretty. All right, then this one is Country Cottage. Create a card. So this is a layering. So this is what it looks like, or can. But you have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies. Anyway, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I can't remember if I have this one or not. I don't think so, but once upon a time, and it has the three different dies. So there's your castle and your carriage and horse and then a tree line. And then you see how they have it cut like that. And then you trifold it. And then you get this beautiful little card. Just love that. Then here's another layering because I like cards with dimension. This is Snow Day Scene. So you have this one, this one, and this one. So you can put them in any order you want. And that's what you get. Oh, avalanche. Oh, now. Okay. This is a Christmas morning scene. So the little girl, little boy. And then um, there's the tree and the fireplace. And then you put them all together. I just thought those were fun. And then another one, this is Fairy Tale Forest. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies in this one. And look at that. It's just an all in how you layer it. And then another scene builder. This is um, a Bethlehem scene. So very nice. And uh, a fairy glade. So this is another layering. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dies. So that I that's gonna make a big card, I bet. Or you could even use just half of it. And then this, I just thought this was really pretty. This is a charming church. So it's a big stamp and die. Look at that. A stamp set. Think of you. Enjoy your special day. I just thought that was really pretty. And. Oh, and then we got, I got this because it's more the religious thing. So you get two piece die set, A6 embossing folder, six piece um, stamp set, uh, and element toppers. So this is Crafter's Inspiration by Sarah Davies. Sarah. So I love this stuff. I'm, I'm just one of those. All right, and then, let me see if I can slide these out. I picked these up at the store, so I was glad we got these in. If you haven't seen these, these are little um, treat bags. And so this is the Halloween. They're already cut and scored for you, and you literally add a piece of score tape and fold it together, that's it. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, you have all these little bags and the designs, and then there's also designs on the other side. So if you wanted something a little more masculine or just something different and then, and then they all have little tags. Isn't that sweet? Love that. And then we have Christmas, same thing. So beautiful paper. And then all the tags, like I said, I don't remember how many designs, but anyway, all the tags. All right, well, I think that's it for this trip. Mama's going to bed. I'm a tired girl, and we shall do this tomorrow. Bye for now.